fellow gamers and I'm playing Fortnite Save the World and uh, today is quite a special day and uh, you're probably wondering why is that well today I've actually been playing Save the World for 1000 days I know I can't believe it myself uh, let me know in the comments um, how long you've been playing Save the World how many days um, I don't think there's probably many people actually reach a thousand days um, in this video I'm basically basically just talking about uh, what weapons I can craft and uh, some you know just some general things about save the world which um, hopefully in time epic will actually uh, change and uh, why I actually have 10 obliterator weapon schematics <laughs> I kid you not so uh, let's actually go through all the heroes that I have um, I've got two 144 heroes Dragon Scorch which was the first one that I supercharged uh, because I use him for ventures and uh, Swamp Knight I supercharged second because um, he's a, a really good soldier probably one of the best in my opinion um, I'm just gonna quickly just go through all of these a few mythics I think I've got actually every single hero in the game apart from the ones that uh, you could actually get when you um, upgraded the game when you had the uh, when uh, you had the uh, founders edition which uh, you can't actually do now so you can't get the uh, Nocturno anymore I wonder if um, Epic will actually be bringing that uh, back at some point And when I get a second um, hero, I usually put them in the, uh, you know, of the, of the same type. I usually put them in the uh, collection book. Um, if I get a third hero, I just keep them at a, a low level because I usually use them for like uh, filling in on um, expeditions where I don't need to use like a 130. I might only need to like use a couple of uh, level 12 heroes. I haven't actually counted how many heroes I actually have. I usually tend to send off the heroes that I don't usually use in loadouts on the, uh, the old expeditions. She's another good hero to use for ventures. Cassie Clip Lipperman, because you get uh, extra materials when you use anti material charge. Because uh, during season three of ventures, uh, Outlanders don't use any energy when they use their anti material charge, so you can actually just farm all the time. And uh, I hope in time Epic will bring out a, uh, an Outlander that you can do that in the, uh, the main part of the game as well. many heroes fossil Southie that's who I'm used in um, for farming in the uh, the main part of the game Either him or Archaeologist Jess, they're the two uh, best outlanders for farming in my opinion. I will be going through all my weapons as well and showing you what I can actually craft. I'm lucky really because I've because I've got every hero I can you know really play around with uh, my hero loadouts
thought that was survivalist Jonesy then. Survivalist Jonesy is um, essential for having in pretty much every hero loadout that you have because it gives you health when you kill enemies and uh, that can save you quite a few times some of these heroes like uh, Stars and Stripes Jonesy you can only get it to uh, certain times of the year as well Stoneheart Farrow, good hero to use if you use the bows. Striker AC used to be a good uh, outlander, but uh, not quite as good anymore as uh, Fossil Southie. There you go, Survivalist Jonesy. One of the most essential heroes to have. Nearly at the end now. Yeah, as I said, I keep some of these uh, lower level ones just for, for fillers, for expeditions. I can actually show you. Uh, there you go. I've got two in that uh, expedition squad that I'm using. It's better to use two of those and just uh, use up a 130. Right, uh, let's show you what I can craft trap wise. I've actually just recently got rid of a load of traps, so I've decided to only keep like two of each trap because I will be uh, supercharging some of them. Broadsider, great trap to use. Although personally, I actually prefer wall darts rather than than that. I've changed all the end perk to uh, heals attached building 4.8% of its max health, mainly for when I'm like running endurance. I forgot to mention air trap. You need that if uh, for lobbers because it shoots uh, their projectiles out the air. You never used to have to use that. Um, I've only I haven't really used them at my. Um, on my storm shields because uh, when I did my storm shields they weren't um, an issue. See drop trap you can have that three tiles high. Same with the uh, ceiling electric field that's probably one of my uh, favorite traps to use because it zaps multiple enemies in a uh, three by three grid around the actual trap itself. Cast trap. I don't really use these as much as I used to. I still have them in my uh, stonewood. Um, if I ever rebuild stonewood, I will change them to uh, the ceiling electric field traps. Ceiling zapper. That's similar to the ceiling electric field, but it just it just zaps a single enemy. So not quite as good as the uh, ceiling electric field. Cozy campfire, which is probably the best here. Healing trap. Or freeze trap, good for freezing the uh, or propanes. Floor launchers used to be uh, a decent trap until um, Epic decided to uh, to nerf it because um, enemies no longer take full damage and it doesn't launch smashes up in the air, which is a shame because it was quite fun watching a smasher getting uh, shot up into the air. Healing pad, I haven't um, got rolled that or evolved it to 130 because of the uh, the old cozy campfire says so it's actually better retractable floor spikes one of my favorite uh, floor traps it'll either be that or the uh, the wall darts that i uh, supercharge next sound wall it uh, makes husks dance which is uh, quite amusing tar pit 
the only trap I think I believe now that will actually uh, slow down charging smashers the wooden floor spikes used to but uh, I don't think they do anymore wall darts uh, I love this trap it, uh, it's got quite a range on it and it's only got all the 3.3 second reload because I've got the double reload uh, perks on it same with all my traps I have double reload and then durability Or dynamo occasionally use them but uh, not that often wall launchers again with this it doesn't um, you can't like um, launch smashes off off you know off um, you know high high builds it just basically just um, knocks them a little bit because I got nerfed along with the uh, wall launcher after the uh, the first frost night because people were using those in the uh, the floor launchers in in the first frost night all lights uh, just basically stuns enemies and uh, that's it really that trap there i just use for the uh the 160 retrieve the data uh let's have a look at the uh, ranged weapons uh, i'm not gonna go through all of these i'll just basically just go through them slowly Um, my plan is to have two of every single weapon in the game. Uh, one will be Bright Core and one will be Sunbeam. That's my uh, plan for the uh, the future. Uh, I've got two 144 weapons now. I have the Wraith with Affliction Damage because that's what I prefer. Affliction Damage. And uh, the Xenon Bow, again, which um, has Affliction Damage. And I can craft 95, 130 or higher weapons. Blizzard Blitzer, great for freezing smashes in uh, Frost Knight. Um, I only had the uh, the Sunbeam and then I, um, I've i evolved the uh, the Brightcore version to, uh, to 130 as well. Because it uh, have, having two of every weapon gives you options for like when you're doing something like Frost Knight, you might not have enough Sunbeam to uh, to craft that one, but you might have enough Bright Core to craft that one. So um, that's my reasoning behind having two of every single weapon. Let's stick it on level. No, we'll put it on name. Some of these I've got to go through and decide which ones I actually want to keep and which ones I actually want to get rid of. That's why I've got loads of certain weapons. But they have all different um, end perks. Boom bow. The range on that. It's got the longest range of uh, 25,000 out of all the bows. Where all the other, other bows have a range of, um, I think it's about 10,000 or something. Let's have a look. Yeah, 10,240. Two Candy Call LMGs, one Bright Core, one Sunbeam. You can only have that in physical though, but it uh, does give you um, healing candy pickups. Crankshot, fastest uh, firing sniper rifle. Great for heroes such as uh, Sub-Zero, who can uh, freeze enemies. The atomizer, um, essential if you um, if you're going up against the uh, the mythic storm king. I have actually cut down the schematics. Believe it or not, I got rid of over 500 that I had. I still have uh, a lot. I'm sort of trying to keep the ones that um, that have affliction damage because, as I said, that's uh, that's why I actually prefer. These are my uh, founders weapons as you can see there you can actually have double elements on them I've got uh, energy and physical on that one I have fire and energy on that one just um, 
energy on the uh, Founders Fault pistol, which some some people say is the uh, the best pistol in the game. I don't personally really use pistols that often, so I can't say. And uh, fire and energy on the uh, Founders Vendetta. And I've actually got four Grave Diggers. I've got one in energy, one in fire, one nature and one water. Uh, if I get a fourth one, I'll either keep it as uh, physical or I will put it in my uh, collection book. Any more after after that will, uh, you know, I'll be, there's no point in really keeping any more after that, unless I decide to um, change, keep them and change them to, uh, to bright core. Hacksaw, decent um, LMG. Although you can't have um, crit rating and crit damage on that one. I think you can only have um, crit crit uh, rating. So I've just gone for fire rate, reload speed, damage, and uh, damage to afflicted targets. Hemlock. Um, I changed that last perk um, to landing five hits in a row on a single target causes a small explosion, dealing damage to enemies within half a tile of the target for 70% damage. And... Um, that was the first one I um, changed the end perk on uh, with my uh, core reperk, and um, I used a second core reperk to uh, to change it on the uh, the bright core because so I've got two, one in sunbeam and uh, one in bright core. Jacko launcher. You need to get the um, legendary. Uh, survivors to um to get that i've got that ages ago a lot of the bows i've only got the uh, the one of at the minute got so many mercury lmgs i don't know why i don't get rid of a few of these because i don't need that many i only need um one in shadow shard and one uh, one in bright core and um, one in sunbeam Although I'm keeping them at the minute, just in case I do change that last end perk. So many Midnight Stalkers, again I haven't gone through these and decided which ones I want to actually keep. Neon Sniper Rifle, great for actually seeing through uh, structures. Used to be handy for um, the Endurance when the, uh, the propane husks were, uh, were an issue. Got a few uh, night owls. I've got uh, at least two of these out of llamas. So here we have it. I have 10 obliterator schematics and you're probably wondering why I've got uh, two in energy, uh, two in fire, two in physical, two in water and uh, two in nature. And as I said, one's bright core and one sunbeam. And um, you know, I'm, I may find a need to um, to have all the different um, elements of um, obliterator. You know, somebody in the future might say, "Oh, starfish, have you got a, uh, a water bright core obliterator?" And I go, "Yes." Have you got a shadow shard fire obliterator? And I can go, "Yes." but I won't need actually any more than 10. So my 11th one that I get, um, I will be putting in the collection book. And uh, I've been researching these, I think it's 100 legendary flux and uh, something like one and a half thousand um, of the um, uh, schematic manuals. Four pain trains, again, one in each element, but uh, these are just uh, sunbeam, or there will be sunbeam, all of them. And I plan to have uh, at least two of every element of uh, Siege Break as well, because they are decent um, assault rifle. Again, with affliction damage. Silent Spectre, decent uh, SMG. Only got four of those at the minute. 
as you I usually um upgrade the the energy first and then the next one will be fire and then it'll be either water or nature after that and i'll only um evolve a weapon to 130 once it has um full legendary perks i'll only take them to uh, to 106 if they've got like blue or um purple perks on them it's just the way i play the game i'm just a, you know a little bit fussy like that lots of storm king weapons i have heard rumors that they're going to be bringing out a storm king sniper rifle and a storm king shotgun but uh, at the minute they're only rumors um, i can't confirm 100 percent that that's going to happen i've had to research a lot of these um, art deco weapons because i didn't uh, buy the llamas i think they were they were 300 v bucks a llama and i, I wasn't going to spend that on on them i've got a uh, god roll floor flusher there which is good um because it deals uh bonus damage against nature enemies which is very handy for twine peaks I've only got one trash cannon with the uh, affliction damage at the minute. I've been keeping these ones as well that um, eliminating an enemy with this weapon causes chain lightning to strike up to six enemies. Um, you can only have that perk I believe on the, uh, the vacuum tube weapons. So I might be having four of each of those, two with affliction damage and uh, two with with that uh, end perk there. Right, have a quick look through the, uh, the melee weapons. Again, I'm keeping these black metal ones until I decide which of um, ones to keep with the M perk. I haven't decided yet, so that's because once you get rid of them, that's it. You've got rid of them. The first one will go in the collection book, but any additional ones after that, you'll only get the uh, the you know the uh, materials for the evolution materials. So. Stabs worth the third used to be my uh, favourite sword in the game before the uh, the Storm King Ravager came out. Baron, very handy weapon, not for using as a weapon, but basically to uh, to use as a tool to get you around the map quick quickly because you can have uh, the three movement speed perks on it I have one in bright court and uh, one in sunbeam and it actually uses a uh, rotating gizmos to craft if you keep them at purple so uh, again that's uh, handy for like frost knight unfortunately I've, I've only I haven't got the uh, the banner for frost knight 128 yet um, the other day I got to wave 20 and we was literally two minutes away from completing it but um, I was the last one standing and um, I ran out of blue glow for the burner so uh, we failed I was gutted to say the least right let um show you what I've got resource wise uh, got one hero recruitment voucher three hero superchargers I usually keep them until I have five and then I'll use all f five on uh, one hero, hero or on one trap or on one survivor. 
don't have a lot of legendary and epic perk up at the minute because I've been um, god rolling a few weapons recently. Got six legendary troll stash llama tokens. Uh, I said I would keep them until I have ten and then uh, do a video of me opening them. And uh, you get two of those per venture season and they're worth 500 V-Bucks each. Yeah, just because I have, have them doesn't mean to say I have to open them. I like to, to save things up. I've only got the one survivor supercharger. Two trap superchargers. One weapon research voucher. Two weapon superchargers. I'm good for the um, the old eye of the storm, lightning in a bottle, pure drops of rain, and uh, storm shards at the minute. Uh, the 160 um, weekly missions um, usually have pure drops of rain, and I was up to I think about 19,000 the other day, and uh, and then I uh, upgraded a load of my um, things in my collection book, so I used about uh, 5,000. 102,000 gold. Oh my god. Probably way, way more rare flux than I need as well. 130,000 rare perk up. Um, the majority of that is from um, basically um, grinding the old uh, Canny Storm King. Oh, 27,000 snowflake tickets. I haven't actually opened any of these, uh, the new llamas yet. Um, I might keep all my tickets until the end of the event, see how many actually you get, and then do a, uh, a llama opening video, because I haven't done one of them for a while. Got a load of teammate XP boosts. I forget to use the boost, I really do. 63,000 uncommon perk up. Hundred and twenty nine million hero XP. I did open, um, I think about th uh, 50, 60, 70, about 80 of these llamas the other day. That's my little piggy bank for when I do uh, to run, run out of gold. I can just open a load of those. Reperk. Oh, it's, it's a pain. This is the thing I tend to um, run out of the most. And because um, you need it for changing the uh, the perks on weapons it uh, costs 600 to change a perk it used to be a thousand and thankfully they reduced it but I wish that it would only cost around a hundred re-perk to change um, a weapon perk it takes a while to uh, to get that 151 million schematic XP 262 million survivor xp and um, i wish epic would make it so that you can actually gift this because i don't need that amount you know i could easily gift 200 million and still have enough for myself uh, 306,000 training manuals 68,000 trap designs that's uh, just the uh, old adventure uh, xp and uh, 393 weapon designs, 1,000 weapon designs. Right, let's actually talk about um, ventures. Um, Epic really need to change it so that you get at least five of every supercharger per venture season. So you need five trap superchargers, five weapon superchargers, five hero superchargers we do get i believe it's 16 survivor superchargers which is good but we need more of the other superchargers to make it worthwhile playing through each season because if you're only getting two or three you know you're only going to be able to level up a trap or a weapon every, every two seasons which is way too long in my opinion and uh, we need five uh, core reperks as well so if, if, if there is actually anybody uh, from Epic watching this video, please, can you make this happen? Um, another thing we need is um, the Hero of the Storm banner. For those of us like myself who have uh, got the Fortnite Platinum Trophy, uh, we, get, we get banners for all the other things like uh, saving a certain amount of survivors or killing a certain amount of mist monsters or, or building a certain amount. So why don't we get the, uh, the banner for the uh, the most important trophy in the game which is the platinum i 
I've only been doing a little bit of ventures recently because um, I've been trying to get this uh, Frost Knight 128 banner. Uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about as well, the uh, the Mythic Storm King weapons. Um, Epic need to, um, to change it so that only people who are the required power level can get these or get access to the Mythic Storm King because a lot of irresponsible YouTubers and uh, Twitch streamers are doing Mythic Storm King carries and um, now that um, Epic are not going to be doing a Twine storyline. The Mythic Storm King is endgame content. And um, if you're below the, the level to, to get these weapons, um, I believe that you shouldn't have them. That's that's just my opinion. And uh, I know that that won't be a, a very popular opinion, but um, that's, um, that's what I think. I've seen as low as power level 47 with um, one of these, the, uh, the Mythic Storm King Wrath. And that's, you know, it's ridiculous because at that level they, they can't they can't god roll it they can't change the perks and again it's it's end game content they, sh they shouldn't have them um i did contact epic about it and they said they were removing the weapons from people you know just the weapons themselves I don't, there must be a glitch or something that people use to um, um to actually drop these weapons because um, normally you can't drop them um, i've no idea how that people do that and um even if I did know how, I wouldn't um, say so in a video. Uh, oh, yeah, need to uh, just chuck some weapons in here because I've. Uh, I only uh, keep a certain amount of weapons. There's there's no point in um, having loads and loads of different weapons. If I need another weapon, I just craft one. So you see, I've got my two 144 weapons there. Uh, Plenty of traps, 200 of each, each of the trap I need. You got one of those uh, missing, so let's craft that. And um, I've been asked loads of times to actually uh, dupe in the game and it's something that I will never do because it's against the Epic Games Terms of Service and I don't want to get banned and I don't want to lose my creator code. So uh, that is uh, why I won't duplicate in this game. So all these um, traps um, have been crafted from materials that I've farmed in the game. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to I'm going to show you what I have um, in my uh, backpack uh, material wise. prefer to play with a, uh, a full inventory because then I'm not like picking up rubbish I don't need and then I have to keep going through and you know dropping materials or recycling traps and stuff like that it's just the way I prefer to play I get through a lot of crystal because I use it for three of my traps for the, uh, the uh, retrieve the data missions so I'm getting through at least 70 because um, these three traps take seven, I think it's seven crystal to a craft and there's um, 10 of the uh, 160 missions each week. So uh, yeah, I get through a lot of that. Probably got way more bacon than I need. And the same with the fibrous herbs because I don't use the, uh, the gas traps really now right that's it there we have it so um, I'm actually going to end this video there so uh, thanks for watching don't forget to smash that like button if you're new to my channel then why not subscribe hit the bell notification symbol and you'll be notified when I publish new videos on YouTube if you'd like to help out my channel you can do so by sharing my videos on social media Facebook Instagram Twitter etc tell all your gaming friends about my channel help my channel to grow if you'd like to help out my channel a little bit financially I do have a patreon account and you can pledge from just one dollar a month and there's a link to my patreon in the description of all of my YouTube videos if you are under the age of 18 please ask your parents permission before pledging that's all I ask
Alternatively, you can help out my channel by using my support creator code, which is exactly the same as my YouTube gaming channel name, starfish underscore central. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's in uh, lowercase letters or capital letters, um, you know, it, it, uh, it still counts. And a, a big thank you to those of you, both past and present, who have been kind enough to use my code. It is very much appreciated. And in the long term, it's gonna really help out my channel. And uh, it doesn't matter if you don't buy a lot from the uh, store, you know, just maybe the odd uh, 50 V-Buck Llama or maybe 200 uh, V-Buck Emote in Battle Royale. You know, every, every little helps, um, so to speak. Uh, another way you can help out my channel is by watching the adverts on my videos. You don't have to. I do make my adverts skippable. Um, I leave it up to the viewer to decide if they want to actually watch the adverts or not. Uh, not everybody does want to watch them and um, I understand that but uh, I don't get uh, any ad revenue I don't get paid if you don't um, watch the adverts many thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye for now